having all of you here at this business innovation conference. And in, from the looks of it, it sounds like it's been it's a very, very successful event. And so I want to congratulate Praveen and all the organizers. I know it's, it's very difficult to put something like this together. And um, it takes a lot of work and details, and especially with the... Uh, with the audio technology. <laughs> and, still but, I, working. but I'm really glad. I'm glad to be here. Uh, when Praveen and I actually spoke, um, this was several months ago, and when he started talking to me about innovation, and I thought, okay, you know, it's sort of like the latest buzzword, right? And what does that mean? What does that mean for, for government? And he says, well, why don't you why did you come here and talk to us about, you know, what government has been doing in this field? And I said, well, okay, I can do that. I can, you know, by the, I was appointed in January, and I figured, you know, by this time I should be able to know at least what GSA is doing in terms of innovation. So I thought what I'd do is talk to you a little bit about um, what, a little bit about GSA. Uh, so how many of you are familiar about, with GSA? Okay, a little bit. Okay, good. For those of you who don't know about GSA, um, and for those of you who do know about GSA, at least you'll know what we've been doing recently. So as Praveen said, I'm the regional administrator of the Great Lakes region, um, which is the six you know, states. And that keeps me busy. Thank God I don't have 13 states. Um, and in, in many ways, we are sort of the membrane between businesses and the federal government because of what we do. And so therefore, we're really interested in being partners with business and academia. Um, and we pride ourselves in working with local communities. I do a lot of, I was last week in Milwaukee talking to the Society of American Military Engineers. After that, I was talking to the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. And part of these outreach events, most of it is spent time telling people about what we do. Yes, we're responsible for federal buildings. Yes, we're responsible for procurement. But we're more than that. There's a, there's a I love to say there's a bigger school. There's an innovative story. So at GSA, it's our mission to provide innovative solutions for our clients and to foster effective, sustainable, and a transparent government for the American people. So through our mission, we help federal government reshape not only its work, but also workspaces, tools, and technologies. And we are proud, and this is you know, before I started, I never thought that we, I, I could say this, but we're really proud to be ranked among the top federal agencies in terms of innovation. Who would have thought that government could be innovative, right? So I'm going to use Theodore Levitt's classic and simple definition of creativity and innovation as found 40 years ago in the Harvard Business Review. Levitt posits that creativity equals ideas and innovation 